Hello artists and welcome back to art class. For this project you are going to be making a decorative piece of pottery with some cacti and succulents in it. A uh, cacti or a cactus is um, one of those plants that has all those little prickly things over it. They hold a lot of water. You find them in a lot of warm dry climates like deserts. And then succulents are very similar, a lot smaller. You can um, get them at a lot of uh, greenhouses and plates where you would buy plants and they're very easy to take care of and require a little bit of watering. So we're going to make those in a decorative pot. Over here I'm going to show you how to draw some of them. If you're doing this in pencil you can always erase as you go um, and erase any overlapping lines but I'm going to kind of start drawing mine with a permanent marker to show you how you could actually work from the front of your drawing backwards so that you don't have to erase anything when you're done. So when you're using your paper, you're going to make sure that you hold it vertically, which is up and down, and about halfway up your paper, the top half is going to be where your plants, your cacti, and your succulents are going to be, and the bottom is going to be where you're going to create this uh, piece of pottery to plant all of your cacti and succulents in. So let's just say I was going to draw this here. You can uh, also include some small flowers with your succulents. So I might start off by drawing some of those smaller flowers. I like to draw just basic ones, very similar to something like this. Maybe if I put a succulent, smaller succulents, it's a lot of layering. So I might start with what I would see in the front, which in this case is just these three spots here, and then you can build up behind it by adding a little bit there, maybe then adding some more behind there all right and if you wanted to make it a little bit bigger you can even add some more i could even add some more layers to my succulent there and i could build it as big or as little as i would like now behind it i have different plants i'm actually going to show you depending on how big you make it you can adjust the size so I had, this is my large cactus, I had a slightly smaller one here that was made up of two round pieces, and then I had kind of, you know, kind of like an aloe plant. Um, if I were to change up the order of that, maybe if I wanted to, behind this flower here, I could draw my larger one. And then maybe this might be my biggest one, and I might draw... A slightly smaller one here. I left a little gap here. I could even have a smaller plant back here if I want, something like that. So you're going to build up your plants first and then create your pot around them. So I can find the sides of my plant and draw a round semicircle shape around it. This would be all of the soil in my plant. Sometimes it's nice at the bottom of your plants to just draw a little line that makes them look like they're a little more anchored in the soil. And then underneath that, create my flower pot. And then your flower pot, you can split into different sections and do different patterns and designs. Zigzags are always good. Start with some horizontal lines, maybe break some of them up with some vertical lines and just kind of create a fun pattern or design on your pot. Another thing to remember with your cacti is if you're doing that, is to add the prickles. And you can do that by making a very small V shape that'll make it look like the prickers that you would find on a cacti like that. So any lines that you have just having them like that. And then I do like to do some lines in the middle going with the curve of the shape of the plant. Too. Kind of like that. And then when you're coloring it, um, try and take some effort to use value. Remember value is showing lightness or darkness in a piece of artwork. So I showed some value, if I move you guys a little closer to my example, when I was shading, I made it a little bit darker near the bottom and the top, a little lighter in the middle, same thing here. Just to make it look a little more realistic, I showed value darker underneath my plants, lighter near the edges, and then just had fun with the patterns on my pot. So once you do that, remember to take a picture of your artwork and send it to me so I can see it. 
and I am excited to see what kind of succulents and cacti you choose and how you choose to arrange them in your piece of pottery. And I'll see you guys again next time for art class. Bye!